first uh, business unit for Sharia already in 2006 and uh, we have seen very very good traction we have seen a increasing demand and also more concern about Sharia so with that we want to be even more dedicated to what we can offer to the largest population in the world and um, with that I believe with a separate entity we, we have new opportunities and of course we also need to look how we can further segment so customers are very diverse in, in the country and we always need to look how can we cater best to the customer needs and I think given a new entity we also have different ways how to approach our customers than what we did in the past in the conventional business and on top of everything it's, it's by far the fastest growing uh, area in the insurance industry and still the lowest penetration so I think it's our responsibility also to make sure that we are there for everyone and provide um, solutions to everyone in the country uh, at the moment, uh, Alliance Indonesia has three entities, uh, mm -hmm. and then how are you positioning it become uh, more differently uh, in terms of offerings? Uh, yeah, th there's always a, a risk of overlap. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I do understand, but as I said earlier, there's segmentation needed. Um, at the beginning, you you have typically a range of products who, which you can offer to everyone. But at certain stages, when you really want to reach further, you need to segment and then you need to really address dedicated needs. So with that, you will see also by three different entities in future having very particular uh, propositions for the respective segment these companies want to address. So we have a conventional life company which will address very much the conventional needs. We will have uh, our Utama, our general insurance, very much looking after property and casualty. And then Sharia will also provide but different life and health propositions, which is more catered for the segments and demand we see in the market. So may I ask, um, you said that Sharia has been launched in 2006, and this is also a grand launching of Allianz Sharia. So what exactly is the difference? So in the past, it was a business unit within Allianz Life. Mm -hmm. So uh, under the license of Allianz Life Insurance, we were able also to operate um, with uh, Sharia business, so there was no necessity to have a separate entity. Now we have seen a lot of traction in the business, and today our new business is ranging between 25 and 30 percent coming from Sharia. So now we also have the justifications from, from a business perspective in a very growing market that we really spin off and separate as a full entity, which hasn't been the case before. It was more a unit within the existing company. And from your point of view, how has it evolved, um, I guess, in Southeast Asia, let's start in Southeast Asia and Indonesia, um, about the Sharia kind of interest? Well, I think Indonesia is the biggest population, so that's why we were also very early. Um, we are also present in Malaysia, where, where Sharia is a, is a big topic, mm -hmm. um, even though we do not have a Sharia license there. So having learned from that, we also see, of course, um, here we have the opportunity and we, we really want to be there for everyone. And uh, fortunately, the, the, the country and uh, the government is, is very supporting to Allianz to obtain this license, uh, also now for the spin-off company. And with that, we are, of course, very thankful and um, look forward to help also the government to eventually increase the insurance penetration and close the protection gap. Thank you so much.